everyone. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Jenny. I'm here today to give you my five star predictions for 2022. And, uh, Last year, I chose a theme for all of the books in my five-star predictions, and I decided to do that this year by genre. So what I want to do is read five memoirs. Um, if you're new to this channel or you don't know yet, I am really fond of memoirs. It's one of my favorite genres of literature. I just enjoy um, a kind of self-reflective narrative. Um, and so often I find lots of memoirs that um, I give five stars to. Uh, it's probably one of my most popular categories, genres, to give five stars to. So I thought it would be a great way to read more memoir this year and also a great way to um, see if I am correct about like the memoirs that I'm putting on my TBR. So the first one that I have is Paris to the Moon by Adam Gopnik. Adam Gopnik is a journalist, I believe, who moved to Paris um, with his young family. And so he basically was living in Paris and getting used to being in a new city while also uh, being a new parent. And this is his account of that time. I believe he was also um, submitting... Um, uh, writing to the New Yorker and it was called Paris Journal. So I think that part of that writing that he was submitting to the New Yorker was included in this memoir perhaps, or they kind of go together, I'm not sure. So um, this is off of my Paris in France TBR and also a book that I own. And so it's falling into a whole bunch of different categories of things that I'm trying to do this year and trying to accomplish in 2022. Uh, so this is the first one on the list. The next one on the list is Names for the Sea by Sarah Moss. I have at least three or four books by Sarah Moss on my TBR, and I haven't read any of them. And I've heard a lot about this memoir. This is her. A this is a memoir about her time living in Iceland, and. Um, I'm fascinated by Iceland, as many people are. I would love to travel there myself. And I know that Sarah Moss goes and lives there with her family. And so I'm, you know, just really interested in reading this one and starting off with some of Sarah Moss's writing. And I, I actually find that oftentimes beginning with someone's nonfiction, an author's nonfiction is, is a good thing for me. So I'm very curious to see if I get along well with Names for the Sea. The next one is called Carrie, a memoir of survival on Stovelin land by Tony Jensen. And this is a, a memoir in the format of connected essays and all of these relate to guns in some format so um, growing up um, I believe on, uh, Tony Jensen grew up on a reserve and is and is an indigenous author and has guns in her life and so she's talking about them in, in relation to her life and growing up um, in this memoir the next one is one that has been on my TBR for a very, very long time and is a very famous memoir called H is for Hawk by Helen MacDonald. I believe that this one follows her on her journey through grief when her father dies and also fallen, follows her as she learns falconry or maybe as she continues to do falconry and this is something she's already done. Um, I know that this is Olive of a Book Olive's favorite memoir of all time, one of her favorite books of nonfiction, um, and I think that's a pretty good recommendation. So I've had this on my TBR for a very long time and I'm really glad I'm finally going to get to it in 2022. And my fifth one is Dear Centurion, a Black Spirit Memoir by Akweke Emeze. So uh, if you had followed me at all in my videos last year, I read three Akweke Emeze books 
I have so far talked about two of them on this channel and the third one is forthcoming in my January wrap up. Uh, I adore their writing. Um, a Quick Amaze has a way with words that just sings to my soul. So I am very excited to read about their, their life and their thoughts and um, kind of learn more about their personal journey in their memoir. So very, very excited about all five of these memoirs. Please let me know if you've read any of them and what you thought of them in the comments down below. Um, I know that memoir can be a very polarizing genre on booktube. There are people that love it. There are people that really don't uh, for various reasons, but um, I think this is going to be a great five star predictions and I'm really looking forward to getting started in the coming months. So uh, thank you so much for watching. I will be back again probably near the end of the year with a wrap up of these books. In the meantime, you will probably be able to hear me talk about them in my monthly wrap ups uh, as we go through the year. And I hope you're having a great day.